Hello everybody, my name is Blind Senpai and welcome back to Star Citizen. Today we will be looking at the F7CM Super Hornet. Uh, this is close to the military grade Super Hornet, uh, or a Hornet that they, uh, they make and use in the Navy. Um, this is the civilian model. It has uh, a lot of guns. So I'll just give a quick rundown here. So up on front here we have the turret with um, some Bulldog repeaters. These are 007 Bulldog repeaters on both uh, both sides of this turret here. On the wings over here we have M4A laser cannons. So there's one on each wing. And then up top there is a ball turret which has uh, 117 Badger repeaters. So those are a little bit more powerful than the uh, Bulldog repeaters, I believe. Um, and then also we have some uh, some missiles. So we have quad missile racks on either side. So we can hold eight missiles total. And this thing is pretty insane. Uh, it has a lot more armor than uh, something like the Sabre has. Um, the shields aren't not bad either, but I believe the shields are a little bit weaker than the Sabre. Uh, and it also is slower. Uh, by quite a bit, I would say, too. It's it's definitely noticeable when you're flying it. Uh, maneuverability is also not quite as good. But with this uh, lax in speed and maneuverability, it sure makes up for in um, adding more guns to it. So, six guns total and eight missiles and uh yeah we'll just do a quick walk around here so these uh these wings do straighten out when it fires up and takes off see the nice big engine there the style of this is really nice looking um it's very unique compared to a lot of the other ships in this game so uh there's the quick walk around uh, to load in here, simply walk up here and the ladder pops out, as I've been with a lot of the models that you've seen so far. And this is actually two-seater, so you can just briefly see a, another seat behind me there. And I'll try to show you a better image of that once I get seated. So, i show you the third-person view a little bit here. To show you that ball turret a little bit better in the top of the ship. Like I said, those wings do straighten out when you start to take off. Uh, and there is a little bit of clipping right now in the design. And that is just because, remember, this game is an alpha. So I'm sure when it releases, all that will go away. Um... So, and then here inside the cockpit, if you just see behind my character there, you can see another seat. And that's where uh, the co-pilot will sit. And you can, you can split the tasks between the two pilots. Uh, that helps our combat, obviously. Um, Alright, so we're going to take this into Vandal Swarm. And I will see uh, what this thing can do. Alright, and here we are in Vandal Swarm. Uh, as always, I do have Anna with me. Say hello, Anna. Hello, everyone. So Anna will help me control my ship just a little bit better since we all know by now I am a terrible pilot. Uh, pin target. Pinned. And we can see that these... Uh, because what these are on need, turrets, my captain. these weapons do move away from the normal flight path. Uh, I can fix them, so I'll show you kind of both combat styles. So right now I'm kind of firing off to the side here as I'm turning my ship. It makes it a little bit harder, I think, to keep the fire on the target. Because um, you're controlling the turning and the weapons all with the same stick. So the uh, the weapons go ahead of the ship 
and then you're having to kind of pull the, pull them back as the ship actually starts to turn. So it's kind of a little frustrating. I guess it makes maybe a little bit easier if the target is flying past you to get a couple more shots on them rather than having to wait for the, the ship to turn. But it is something that is a little obnoxious at times. Um, it looks like I actually lost my bottom guns already. So that's that's too bad. Um, but these are... Uh, those were the weaker ones. Um, these weapons are going to be more enough than enough capable of taking out quite a few Vandal here. So you can see, it's definitely a little bit slower in, in the turning and the uh, just the moving in general. But it uh, definitely has some good firepower to it. And it has a good amount of armor to it. So the weapons themselves obviously aren't that protected because, especially those bottom ones, because they're just kind of there. It's not really any kind of shielding or anything uh, stopping them from being hit, so it can be knocked off pretty easily. Alright. You can see right now I have my afterburners going and my top speed is right around 320 when I'm flying straight. Com stab on. CS is back. Fuel. Uh, and you can see I get up to speed here. Try to get up the speed here. So 210 is my max speed without my afterburner. So not fast at all. Um, at least compared to all the ships I've flown so far, it is definitely not anywhere near them. But this is the only ship I've flown so far that has six weapons. Uh, even though I lost two now, but and I think I'm actually probably just gonna crash this ship just so I can get those other two back. Um, I'm actually gonna do that now that I got the elite. Now that I got the elite enemies here. I'm just gonna crash this in, and honestly, I don't know if it'll kill it with the first crash. So Not set. We'll see. Forward proximity alert. Weapons. Okay. So I know it has quite a bit of armor, so I wasn't sure if that would do it or not. So just to make it fair, I will uh, I will have all the weapons on. Respawn. Done. Um, and I'm not I'm not planning on trying to go as far as I can with this. Com stab on. Com stab on. So that's why it really doesn't matter to me too much. Um, there you can see all the weapons firing. And there's a lot of them. And you really light up your target. Uh, you can hear all the pings when you're, whenever you hit, it, it pings. Um, and it is pinging quite a bit with six shots firing at your target, so. Target it's pretty devastating. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually going to fix the weapons here, and I'll show you this playstyle now. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now I got them fixed. Um, these weapons do have quite a bit of range to them. It seems like uh, right around 2,000 meters away is when I can get all six weapons on the target. Um, units. You can see there, if you look over on my overview, those 007 Bolag repeaters are overheating pretty quickly uh, before anything else is. So that's why I said it probably doesn't really matter that much that I lost them before. Lock missile. Locking on. Fire missile. Unloading. So you see those missiles there. Actually. Killed the target, but it didn't blow up the ship. So 
I uh, do that with my guns, but it's definitely a lot of firepower when you get behind your target. Um, you know, they're gonna drop pretty quick. The biggest thing, like I said, is just the maneuverability and the lack of speed. So, you might find, uh, and, and maybe that's where, you know, having the weapons unlocked might help, but when you're going up against the Saber, the Saber is probably going to go, you know, fly circles around you so you can't even really hit them. So, and that's where maybe a second gunner would help too, because they could uh, probably control the turret, which can obviously point in any direction other than down, but... Lock missile. Locking on. Fire missile. Firing missiles. Let's see. Where is the elite? There he is. Pin target. Pin. Lock missile. Aye, aye. Fire missile. Firing missiles. Yeah, and the missile didn't even get there before I took him down, so. So these. Having all these weapons on your target is pretty crazy. And you can see there, I actually lost those two guns again, so like I said, they're not protected at all. So they're. They can be lost pretty easily. I think this might be the last guy here. Finish him off quickly here. All right. Oh, nope, there is one more. Where is he? Oh, there's a couple, actually. Where'd you guys come from? You're just hiding out, weren't you? If you want to see the Super Hornet destroy you. Other guy is up here. Or down there. Where is he? See, he's just, he's flying circles around me. Couldn't quite keep up to him. All right, so that is it. So I'm gonna end the video here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching me fly the Super Hornet. Uh, it's definitely an interesting ship. Like I said, it has a lot more armor to it, so it can sustain a little bit more damage. Uh, and it has six guns, although two of them seem to fall off as soon as you sneeze. Um, but it's got some firepower to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of the Super Hornet. And uh, make sure you subscribe while you're here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.